Hey, orange one here. So in this video, I'm going to go over how to get married and why you would want to get married. Um, well, first of all, uh, the reasons why you want to get married in this game is if you want to have your clan um, get bigger than uh, what I've got right now, you essentially need to uh, get married. So I've got all these companions and they're pretty nice, but you can get companions or something that's like companions in here. I haven't played the game long enough to get uh, all the family, like all the offspring and raise them and everything, but they do go in this category and they act like companions, right? So the sooner you do this, the, uh, the more parties you can have because you've got this bigger family and the more uh, settlements you can own. And yeah, it, it just makes you more powerful in effect. So you want to get that spouse. In addition, immediately you get an extra NPC that can usually be pretty useful. So to uh, first of all, to find a spouse, uh, you're going to want to look in the encyclopedia. So if you look at like, um, if I look at like encyclopedia, which you can pull up by pressing N, there's a number of ways to do this. But if you find a clan that, uh, you want to be friends with so let's say i look at some of these clans i'm like okay they're maybe um i'm looking at like a kingdom and i want to um look at these clans and i find one i'm like okay i want to be allied to this clan or i want to like work with this clan so what you would want to do is you want to get as close as you can usually to the leader, unless you want to do some extra espionage. And you want to look at their family. And then you want to look for, obviously, the opposite gender of yourself. So, um, well, if you're playing with, uh, without mods, they do have some mods that allow you to do um, same-sex marriage. But um, for us, as a male character, we're going to go with a female right here. Let's have a look at her. She... Um, does not have a husband so we could go and try uh going to taste and going to hub yar and trying to recruit um or trying to like find his daughter and go talk to her i'm already over here and i know that there's actually some royalty in this place already so if i go to the city um to actually go about recruiting the princess uh you want to go to the keep and then you can either talk to them straight here, or you can go in to the Lord's Hall and talk to them in there. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing either way. This person, um, you can then talk to them. And hopefully I don't mess this up. If I do, I'll have to <laughs> reload it. But there's some uh, charm checks that you have to do. So you can say, hey, I'd like to discuss something. And then you can say, hey... Um, I'm an admirer of yours. And then if you rush it, it's usually not going to um, work too well, usually, unless you've got high charm. Um, and then it, she says, hey, we're considering many offers. Um, I've found, and it may change later, but if you go talk to her, then you can say immediately, I'm so glad that we've got time to talk to, uh, get to know each other better. Um, if you want to be kind of gamey, you can um, also give some gifts to them and get them to like you a little bit more. Yes, I've got a fair amount of money, so I can just do that. And then that helps, you know, hey, I'm buying you nice stuff. Um, and you, <laughs> I, It would be really cool if you bought jewelry, if you got an extra bonus or something. But no, that's not in game. Um, so here's what you want to do is you can say, hey, I'm glad we've got a chance to uh, get to know each other. And you've got a charm test. If you've never done any of these, basically you've got these different percent chances of being successful or not. And then um, there is a chance that you would just end the conversation right here, like a 10% chance. There's no need to do that. So because I have these um, uh, traits that line up with what she values, these are good options for me. Um, and so, like, roguery, that's something that I'm, I'm specialized in, right? So, yeah, you just it's essentially a mini game, just matching kind of, like, what you've done in-game with their values. 
again, this is 94% chance. If you've got good uh, charm skill, I've found that these tests aren't too bad. There can be a little bit more strategy to it. But this first test is a pretty low, um, pretty low bar. The second one is harder, though. So what I've found is if you try and talk to her again, she, like right away, she's basically going to tell you, hey, like, give me some time. Right. Um, so there's like no option for me to talk to her about um, the marriage stuff. So if I just um, I think last time I did this, I just waited for a day. I literally just let a day pass and then talk to her again and um things were were good i think yeah that, I, i'm getting that morale boost from my dudes i've got a little party and they're do uh, donating troops to the army so if we stop rate waiting around now i think this was around it's been about a day so let's go ahead and uh, talk to our potential wife here um no i think we need to wait a little bit longer then okay we'll come back to it soon I might make a cut here. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're going to try it again. Let's see if we go to the keep. Let's go talk to her. I just waited like a few more hours. Um, yes, we should discuss a future together. Yes, okay, so it has been enough time now. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and see. This is a tougher one. You can kind of see in of itself. I mean, we got successful on that first one, so that is pretty good. Um, but we basically have to be successful on the second one here. But I was. Nice. It, basically with Charm, if you fail one, you need to get critical success later on. So just keep that in mind. I might do a whole tutorial on Charm checks. But basically, um, you want to get all those bars filled out. And you need to essentially get one point per um, conversation that you have. Um, so if you miss one, you have to get a double on a later one, which you it will indicate if you got a chance of getting a critical success with like two up arrows. Okay, so we gotta go talk to her father now. So she's like, "Yeah, sure, I'll marry you, no problem." But now, uh, I I wish that there was like a quest like getting married or something like that, but there's not. Instead, you've got to know who her father is. If you're like, hey, I'm having a hard time remembering that, you can go to Heroes and go to Met, and then you can find um, the person that you're trying to get married, and hopefully they mean enough to you so, for you to remember their name. And then you go to their father. And so Unquid, he's the Sultan. Um, he was last seen over here. So, oh yeah, I think that I've, I've done this a little bit... Um, before so i think i remember that he was he's just coming up here somewhere so of course the uh the king was right by the city and i like just didn't even see him there and the encyclopedia hadn't really updated so um yeah this is the father so you'll get this prompt right here at the top um basically you can give them items it just gives you the value of the item so you might as well just do cash and you don't have it's kind of misleading because you might usually with this this fills up to a certain point and then it's like okay we're happy with that deal but here you just need to fill it until they are like okay yeah, i'm happy with that gift so for this princess it's costing me 8k i have seen it cost more or less um so just keep in mind that you're gonna need a fair amount of money to get married but now that we are married here's something that's kind of cool um if you if i had a castle and unfortunately i don't have any fiefs like a castle or in a city or anything so if i had one she would just get transported to it instantly um unfortunately that's not the case so she stays at her father's um castle right here and you can see that she's now part of my clan right in the background that's my uh my symbol so I can talk to her, and I can also just straight up just take her into my party. So um, I can give her a rule. I can discuss um, joining the party. We can also play a, a board game. Um, you know, all that stuff. But what's kind of cool is 
the, the most useful thing is that you can say, I'd like you to join my party. Also, I could have done that from that menu earlier for taken to party. And um, most of these characters are going to have some really great, uh, really great armor. So most of the royal members of the families have like tier six or tier five gear. This person, it looks like, does not have any tier six armor, but they do have a tier six sword, and they got quite a few tier five armors. Um, their civilian clothes is actually almost worse than the default civilian clothes that you get with your companions. But they're like, oh look, they've got a tier six horse uh, mail and plate barding. That's really good. So if you wanted some good armor, um, you can just take this from you and then give that to yourself. So you can um, get all kinds of access to some crazy, crazy weapons. Wait, hold on, was that? Did I, did I see that correctly? Did I just take her weapon and it's a uh, tier six weapon that I can take into a city? Oh man, that is a useful item. Very cool. Okay, so anyways, that's that's the main benefit, is that you get this companion in the short term. In the long term, though, um, if she stays with us for long enough, we should get an indicator that she's gotten pregnant. Um, I've not myself actually done this part, um, but I'm just going to kind of wait around until the game gives me some sort of message. Um, I have heard it's kind of easy to miss, um, but there should be some sort of message that our... Um, our companion here um where is she she's right here and look at that look at her stewardship my god yeah i would definitely should have you in charge of a colony that's amazing you're not much of a fighter actually i should probably not take you out fighting but you're very charming and got extremely high stewardship which you know the other i've been watching some other people playing the other person that someone else got married to it was the same thing. They're really good at stewardship and not so much fighting. I'm curious about um, how that really works. Yeah, I'm not seeing any uh, any message about her getting pregnant. If I so I ended up doing a little time skip because it was taking so long for us to actually get the um, pregnancy message. I actually just got it down in this corner right here. Is like just a little low yellow message that you get in the log um, that you of the events going on. Now if I wanted to actually look at her, it will indicate that she's actually um, pregnant. And so if I go to her, I could have also gone to our clan and found her that way. That might have been easier. Um, so if we look at her, we can kind of see in her log that she has gotten pregnant. And we can see the time period that she's gotten pregnant as well. So. She's gotten uh, pregnant in spring, so that means she should be, you know, naturally giving birth nine months later. It'll be about less than a year in game. In a year in game, it doesn't work exactly like a year in real life. It's it's sped up. I think it's like one day is something like 20 days or something like that. I'll put the exact season length and year length in uh, the video right here, okay? Um, anyways, I wanted to also show you if we load up... I just kind of let the game run for like a super long time. I just had like a ton of food and like let the computer just go while we were like in a big city. And my companions were just like donating troops all over to Koyaz. I have no idea why we're actually over here. But any any case, we've got some stuff right here in Inheritance that we were able to name our kids. Those are our ancient family names. Um, so you can name your kids, <laughs> and then also something of note is if we go to our clan, so we can see, hey, look, there I am, and there's my wife, and there are my two kids, right? So I've got these uh, kids in my um, in my clan. I can't use them until they're, I think, teenagers, I believe. Um, you can actually see that she uh, got um married to me gave birth and then immediately got pregnant again and then gave birth but i don't know why we're not getting the pregnant message right here it was there earlier we just showed it to you guys i'm pretty sure but yeah we've got um 
two sons that Enidha has given us. And you can also see them if you hit L and you go to your clan menu. You can see that where she's at and you can see that they're where they're at as well. And oh, look at them. They're so cute. Our little, our little soldiers here. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. It looks like they've got the exact same stats right there. They've got really good riding, which kind of makes sense because she's got good riding. I've got really good bowmanship, so you guys also have good bowmanship. So they get, it looks like their traits are influenced by their parents' um, traits. Yeah, well, that's kind of cool. So you can kind of continue with your playstyle. Very nice. I like that a lot. So yeah, that's the main idea behind getting married and having kids. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.